You see this guy called Rufa Husseini. The reason why I see many people love this man now because see if they always they speak out the truth. Make una just listen to this video. Make una hear wait till Rufa Husseini talk about this update now. We be like see the trend on social media. Make una hear wait till Rufa Husseini of Arise News tell Yaya Bello. If you come across this video and you are from this country, listen to this video and also spread the video, share the video so that other Nigerians will still hear what I'm hearing. And I will be right back to react to this video. Good morning to you guys. Good morning, Rufai. Good morning, Ayo. Good, good morning, morning Rufai. And good morning to our viewers <laughs> watching from wherever in the world. Now, the Court of Appeal in Abuja has ordered Yahaya Belo, former governor of Kogi State, to appear before the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission for arraignment. The court overturned a Kogi State High Court's decision that restrained the EFCC from prosecuting Belo on the allegation of an 80 billion naira uh, in money laundering. In a unanimous decision delivered on Tuesday, a three-member panel of the appellate court, led by Ken Amadi, also restrained the former governor from taking any further action regarding the charges against him until he has been formally arraigned. The EFCC filed the appeal against the judgment of Isa Abdullahi Jamil, a judge of the Kogi State High Court, in a fundamental rights case instituted by Belo in February. Now let's see what the people are saying. The first tweet there reads, Yahaya Belo should have appeared before the law court a long time ago. But unfortunately, this country is not serious and the EFCC plays selective justice when it comes to flexing their powers. Yah Yahaya Belo felt untouchable because the EFCC literally made it seem so by declaring him wanted instead of going to pick him up. The next tweet there reads, how many times will the court threaten Yahaya Bello with facing the law? He has been facing the law, but it seems the law is deliberately kept in gear in the reverse and have been pulling back fearfully to avoid a collision. We are watching this drama series. The last tweet there reads, Yahaya Bello is bigger than the FCC. Yahaya Bello seems to be bigger than the judiciary. Yahaya Bello is bigger than the police. Yahaya Bello is bigger than Nigeria. Where is Yahaya Bello? And before you comment, still keeping it in Kogi State, Kogi State Governor Alaji Usman Ododo has approved the appointment of 1,192 additional aides. This was contained in a uh, statement issued by the Secretary to the State Government, Dr. Fola Shade Ayoade. The aides include Yakuba Ab uh, Abdul Kakim, who will serve as the Executive Secretary of the Kogi State Office for Disability, 165 senior special assistants, and 36 special assistants. Others on the list approved by the governor are 574 ward special assistants and 290 local government special assistants. Similarly, Ododo also approved the appointment of Al Haji Ibrahim Abdul Sadiq as the director of protocol for the First Lady Office, in addition to other retinue of aides. The governor congratulated all appointees and urged them to put in their best service to the state and humanity at large. All appointments are with effect from September 1, 2024. Again, we turn to the streets to see what the people are saying. The first three there reads, it's high time the constitution provided for the number of special assistants that a governor or even a president should have. The next three there reads, the same governor will say Kogi states cannot afford to pay 70,000 naira to the state civil servants. And the final tweet there reads, maybe unemployment will reduce by 1,192. <laughs> now, <laughs> so, so I was looking at that and I, I was going to, I was checking for the unemployment numbers, finger, figures. Maybe this is the governor's um, response to unemployment, let mm -hmm. him employ everybody mm. in Kogi State. But this is what we talk about when, it, when we talk about over bloated cabinets, not just at federal level, but at state level. You know, when we talk about the federal, the center, we often say that we should also look at the subnationals. They are sometimes the biggest culprits when it comes to wastage and, you know, egg, and, and bloated um, cabinets. Say and it you, again, you please. This, say you one see more this time. play out in Kogi State. What, is Kogi, uh, what would Kogi raise in terms of IGR in the last year? Um, Kogi's debt profile, um, um, Roots of Space, you help me with the figures. It's yeah, high. It's very high. And then you're spending, especially when many states are saying, oh, 70,000 naira, they're going to have to pay people. And of course, these aides are not going to be earning 70,000 oh, 70, naira. Can that fund or the amount of money that will be spent on this large 
um, entourage of assistants be spent on creating jobs for Kogi State or spent on building infrastructure for Kogi indigents? Mm -hmm. Many times what happens, unfortunately, is that when these people get into power, they want to reward those who supported their campaign. Mm -hmm. And they reward the people using the people's commonwealth and using the taxes of the people. So we need to stop this. And I quite agree with that um, ex um, post that says that maybe we should start regulating how many aides can be appointed. And, or if you want these number of aides, pay from your own pockets. Mm -hmm. Don't use the state funds for it. Let me go back to the first. Um, um, our, so our, yeah, can we now consider former governor of Kogi State a fugitive? Because wh 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 the question or the hashtag is, where is Yahaya Bello. And the most important question is, why are you running? Mm. If, if they want to bring you in for question, and we said the same thing earlier with regards to what's happening with the NLC and the police. If you're being invited for questioning, they're not detaining you. They're not um, judging you. You're, you're, innocent until, you're, you're, you're innocent until proven guilty. So the honorable thing I would imagine is for the former governor of the state to present himself, at least even before the courts. Yes. It means that like the other person, he doesn't have respect for our systems. And this is why people don't have trust in the justice system when it seems like there's certain, certain people who are exempt from facing the law. Kogi mm. States has iron ore. Kogi States has limestone. Kogi States is in the breadbaskets of Nigeria. Kogi States has consistently had the highest inflation figures in Nigeria. Go and check the trend lines. On a year-on-year -year basis, headline inflation, and on a month-on-month -month basis, also food inflation, one of the highest, despite being a, in the breadbasket. Kogi State is a blessed state that should have, you should be bringing in Tesla and all these other companies to come in there. This is why, as you said, I've been telling people, focus on governors, focus on these other guys at the sub-nationals, because that's where um, uh, the, the, the problem is. We talked about the uh, unemployment. I keep using Q4 2020. At the top of the hour, we're talking about river states and all the chaos that's happening there. River states, up unemployment and underemployment combined, 59%. Kogi state is 66. Wow. Almost 7 out of 10 people are either unemployed or underemployed in Kogi state. Listen, if we break down the issues in each of these states yeah. in the federate, man, we could be, we'll have content, trending content for... For years to come. That's all I have to say. Right. Yahya Abelu should face the law. Well, it seems as if, uh, 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 like I said, 1,192 people are not part of these people that uh, are not employed <laughs> anymore. What are your yeah, thoughts? they have jobs. <laughs> they have jobs see, now. I've always said it's culture with its strategy for breakfast. You are complaining about Kogi State. Look at the electoral process that brought in the governor. What do you expect? And that's my problem with that. So if we do not change something with our leadership structure. It's not, wait a minute, you, you've been flexing your muscles. Well, let me shock you. You said he appointed 1,192 aides. You, you think he knows better? Mm. This was the same man that lists meeting with NSA, APC governors as 100 days achievement. I mean, <laughs> I mean what were you, <laughs> so, oh. no, you're laughing. What were you expecting? He listed it as part of his 100 days achievement. You can laugh. Why are you laughing? <laughs> laugh. Oh. This was the same out. man we'll that, that listed it. Asked what was his antecedents before he got in there. How did he get in there? Are you surprised that he protected his godfather, Yaya Bello, that got in him there? Why are you surprised? Somebody was saying the other day that the white lion is big. It's bigger than everybody. Because can the EFCC clamp him down? No. At some point, we're, we're shouting, clamoring, young people should run government, young people should run government. Yabel was a young man when he ran government. What did he do? You are talking about iron ore investment. Is that not where Ajakuta is? Has Ajakuta seen the light oh today? Oh, my goodness. That's Azerbaijan another, are not there. Kogi State has about 20,000 hectares. So if you don't fix the process that bring in people like these characters to become leaders over others in a country where you have educated people, enlightened people, You'll never. F Do you know Kogi is also the confluence town where River Niger, River Benue meets? It's blessed, blessed. Do you know the rich blessed. potential, even the historical potential? Is that not where Lugard stayed? Mm. But in a country where you have people like Donald Duke, that was the only governor never indicted by the EFCC when he left government, you are having people like this being harbored by the states. When Donald Duke came out. Isn't this EFCC record enough to be able to allow him be on a pedestal to run for vice president? What happened then? Because this nation does not like the good people. Our political structure, once you are good, you are vocal, 
they will push you back because they can't manipulate you. If I let's talk about his predecessor very quickly uh, before we move to the next story. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, um, Bailu, who of course has been. He should go and face his court. Yeah. See, I, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the mm. Truth is, are we not even daft that we are talking about a man that has been indicted by the EFCC? We are talking about the fact that we are begging him to go and face his charges. It's not even a reflection of a national sense of madness and being daft in this country. In a country you have laws and rule of law. That we are talking about a man that he picked up for a crime that should submit itself willingly. It's not because we are mad. They've removed our brains and skulls. Henry Tiro has said it all. Yeah. The place for a just man and unjust society is the prison. So people that are speaking the truth, you put them in prison. But people that have been fingered in corruption charges, they can walk free because they have cronies in power. It's and sad. you think we have a system. We're joking. Mm. He skipped, he skipped appearing in court five times. Oh, Every month you are just since starting. April. April 23rd, 10th of <laughs> May, 13th of June. Um, 27th of June and 17th of July. Big English. So what is, Tura, Tura so what where is, is yeah, yeah, Bilo. Uh, well, hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag, where is, yeah, 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 Bilo. Let's move on to For our other next people, they are so quick to invite maybe you a deal. My, uh, my next story will make you guys a, 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 uh. a bit uh, Thank you for watching that video. So guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that Whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube, so that everyone out there will see this video. So guys, see you guys some other time.